what's going on guys and as always welcome back to yet another video now today we're gonna go ahead and skip the intro because it's gonna be it's not gonna be a long video it's gonna be pretty short so recently the 11.20 update for fortnite battle royale and fortnite save the world epic games has added something pretty nice in the game for pc players you can now play on direct x12 instead of direct x11 to do that you know you just go into your settings then you want to go down to advanced graphics of course you want to be in the video tab go down to advanced graphics all the way at the bottom just scroll that scroll wheel all the way at the bottom doesn't matter and here you'll see direct x version switch that to direct x12 as you can see selects which low level rendering system to use direct x11 is a default and has been more extensively tested direct x12 is newer and has not been tested as widely but may offer a performance increase over direct x11 now something you may see that is very different there is no fps counter no fps counter at all they they got rid of that at least for this update it's it's no way you can go in your game tab your controller options tab all these tabs before it was in the video tab scroll to the bottom and be right here next to motion blur under motion blur under or somewhere on, on the advanced graphic settings they took it away it's not there anymore so you can't see those beautiful frames you can't watch them you can't stare at them so today i'm going to be showing you how to get the in-game fps counter let's do it all right so the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and close the game all right now what you want to do is you want to uh, hit on your keyboard the windows key which is next to which is in between the control and alt keys hold that down and then click r at the same time something like that should pop up and then just type in shift five which is the percentage key then you want to type in local app data okay with the percentage key again okay. click enter or click ok with your mouse sorry about that and you want to scroll down to fortnite game double tap that double tap saved go into config then from here you want to go to windows client and go to game user settings now here you want to right click right click and you want to go down to properties now this is going to be um unchecked for most of you but if it is checked just make sure you uncheck it just make sure that's unchecked and then you want to go um you want to right click again and you want to go to edit all right now that you're here just widen that out a little bit all right now that you are here as you can see down here there's three different things there's a uh, motion blur show grass show grass excuse me and show fps as you can see i have whatever that is on and i do have motion blur off there it is the show fps so you want to go ahead delete that and type in true wow i messed that up anyway you want to type in true and then you want to just click the X, close out, and it'll ask you, do you want to save changes to blah, 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 where you're, where this is. You want to click save. You're done. That's literally all it took. Now at the beginning, it'll seem like, wow, that's all right. But it's, it's not hard at all when you're used to it at all. It's, it's not. All right. So now you want to go back into your game and I'll show you. Let's check it. All right. As you can see, now that we are here. Go ahead and look at your bottom left hand corner. Ladies and gentlemen, we did it. Wow, that is, they're pretty low. It's between like 300 and 400 right now. It's usually up there, 400, 500. But uh, anyway, we are on DirectX 12 right now with the FPS counter on. If you want to turn it off, repeat those same steps. But instead of it being true, you want to go ahead and switch it to false which is where it previously was. All right. That it is. There it is, sorry. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. The FPS counter. I remember before it was near the top right-hand corner, by the B-Buck counter, somewhere up there in the corner. But now it'll be down there. Um, let's hop into a game to see what it looks like. All right, guys, as you can see, here we are. The reason why my frames are pretty low right now is because um, I'm running OBS in the background. I'm gonna show you that. I went into my task manager. It is taking up a pretty large amount, a decent amount. Yeah, that is how you switch to DirectX 12 from DirectX 11. What the? Holy crap. 
Okay, let me finish. No, 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 please. Um, that is how you switch to Director 12 from Director 11 and how you get the FPS counter in game. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please, of course, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new and comment on what you guys want me to do next. All right. Um, I'll see you guys in another video. Goodbye. What the?